Commander Shepard. I hope you are not here to check up on me. I wanted to make sure you were doing okay. I feel a bit embarrassed about what happened earlier. You reached out to me as a friend, and I thought it was something more. The mistake was mine. But I would still like to be friends. Can we just put this whole incident behind us? I won't mention it again. I would appreciate that. Is there something else you wanted to ask me? I just wanted to talk. Fair enough. Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Sarah. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but... If there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we'll find it. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? You seem to have some thoughts on this. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape, or convince the Council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. We know more about Saren's plans than anyone. But what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Shepard. So, you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm not like you, Shepard. I'm no hero. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to, but there's a lot of Krogan works out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them, but that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. So long, Rex. Hey, Skipper. Any interest in a small drink? It's a special occasion. What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not going to let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserves better than that. I should have figured this out myself. I don't know how I can help you, though. Look at who I am, Shepard. Do you ever hear me ask for help? It's not that bad things don't happen to me. If you stay with me long enough, maybe I'll tell you about some of them. But I deal with them myself. 
I don't need a shoulder to cry on, a knight to rescue me, or a man to make me happy. This is who I am. I like her. And you better like her too. So, you still interested in me? Baggage and all? Everyone comes with baggage, Ash. The trick is finding a match set. <laughs> That's awful. Tell me you got that out of a fortune cookie. But hey, once we save the galaxy, maybe the Alliance will get its act together. Start acting like an actual government. The Alliance isn't perfect, but it does well enough. Have to disagree with you there, Skipper. Giving aliens the run of our most advanced ship? Kowtowing to the Council? The Alliance should be able to stand on its own. We can't. Yet. Why not learn from the races who've been standing for the last thousand years? How can you say that, given everything we've seen out here? They're already acting like Saren is our problem, already sicking us on the bear. The Council races will always think of themselves first. It's human nature. We can't afford to trust them, not if the survival of humanity is on the line. Ash, you believe in God, an infallible, all-knowing creator with a plan for the universe. You think the diversity of views in the galaxy wasn't part of that? I don't know what God intends, Shepard. I don't think humans have some divine mandate, if that's what you mean. I don't think we're superior. Humans are aggressive. We think fast, we move fast. Wars have started because of our need for constant progress. The Council can balance that. Well, that's... Huh. I guess I never thought of it that way. All big picture, I mean. It doesn't make what happened to Grandad any better, though. What happened to your grandfather shouldn't have happened. Well, at least somebody knows that. And a Star of Terror recipient, no less. Grandad must love that. I have a feeling things will come to a head soon. But don't worry, Shepard. I'll protect you. What's your opinion on the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Skipper. They proved that 2,000 years ago. I think it was a mistake to let them go. But that wasn't my call to make. It was yours. If you haven't talked to Dr. Tassoni, you probably should. She just lost her mom. That has to hurt. Just saying, Skipper. We'll talk later, Williams. It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, and my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without you, Telly. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. I'm going to miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. I should go. Yo, 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 what's good, everyone? How y'all doing? Y'all doing good? That's what's up. It seems to be that every time I record is when I just now wake up. Hope you guys like my voice. What's up, ladies? <laughs> I didn't feel like explaining, so I just showed you guys the conversation. I forgot to show you guys Caden, so I'll do a little brief explanation. So Caden basically told me that in his past, he had this girl that he liked. And then this one guy that was being a dickhead and, you know, did some crazy stuff. He basically killed his ass, snapped his neck, you know, just like he, like, I don't know, I don't know. His words was him snapping his neck, something like that. Um, we're gonna continue this story, and I hope you guys are enjoying this lovely story. I feel like we're coming near to an end just by the way that teammates are talking. Um, as you see, me and Lyra are our friends now, and... Me and Ashley are starting to get along even more better now. Mission-wise, we're getting near Saren. As you've seen, we killed Liara's... Well, Liara's mom died on her own, I guess. But we got one of Saren's teammates, I guess, and said... I don't know. We're just learning more and more in each episode about what Saren is doing. We're moving pretty quick, and we're pr pretty much going to capture Saren pretty soon. As you saw the conversation with um, Garrus... He wants me to kill him ASAP, but I want to be able to make him talk and try to change his ways as a good paragon I am. But if it leads to him, you know, 
trying to take it part of something else that you know we ain't trying to have i'm gonna have to pop his ass real quick you feel me but yeah let's talk let's get straight to the end of the game i don't know what mission we're gonna do but you know my editing skills gonna jump us right into it right i received some troubling information commander we need your help someone is killing former alliance scientists there have been four deaths in the past month Her, tell me i'm about happy it. to look into it admiral what can you tell me all four scientists worked on a classified project on the coups. There was a brutal massacre there years ago. An entire unit was killed by thresher maws. It was classified as a natural hazard, but the project dates coincide with the attacks. You think these scientists had something to do with the attack? I'm not certain what I think, but it's worth investigating. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth lead out. Alright, so for this mission I wanna take my bay. We're gonna take my bay. <laughs> I feel bad for Caden because I never use them anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, Caden. Oh well, I'm gonna pick Rex. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys who's your favorite character so far? Like, other than myself of course. Who do you guys like more? Let me know in the comment section below. Mine's just Rex and Ashley. I swear, in my first playthrough, I missed out so many things. And it's probably because I never bought none of the DLCs. I pretty much bought all the DLCs for Mass Effect 1, so I'm pretty much learning on the way on what's new and stuff. The story seems to be going a different route a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit it's different. If I was on a planet like this, I'd be type scared. See? Told you. You don't know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. I just there was like a boost button. Oh well. I don't want to dive straight in there, but if I have to, I'll do it. Ooh. Seems to be something down there. I don't want to like start something. I always want to be starting something, you feel me? Oh, I see another dead body. It's a Turian. Garrus, don't look. Oh wait, we don't have Garrus with this. Pretty interesting puzzle. Oh, I didn't even get to read it. Oh well. I guess I'll read it in the editing. Alright, so it seems that we found a dead body, some corpse, and it was a Turian. I'm not sure what it was, like what it said, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Llegué yo, yeah. Llegué yo. A gold deposit. Llegué yo, yeah. What is this? Gold deposit survey. Watch to be some brolic. Ha! Got it! Whoa, what is. Whoa! That's hot. Whoa! I see something else. What is that? Alright, YOLO, we jumping down there. Oh, I found another gold. Okay. Right, I don't like the fact that I see an enemy. Okay. We're getting attacked. That's not fun. You know what? I'm tight. How dare they? How dare? Hold up. Hold up. Who do you guys think y'all to be aiming your trash ass weapons at me, huh? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. And then get smoked by me like nothing. Like, come on now. Look at you guys. Looking a lot stupid. Ooh. Oh, yeah, humans too? Oh, I don't feel that bad anymore. Oh, you guys are screaming, go, go, go. Oh, oh, mira, mira. Hold up. Oh, you're imm oh, you're immortal, huh? Huh? You don't know how to act, huh? Huh? You don't you don't you don't know how to hold up? You don't, you, don't, you don't know how to act, huh? You got some new Gucci armor? You don't know how to act, huh? You don't, you don't know how to act, huh? Let me show you something. Hold on, let me humble you real quick. How much wheels taste? Enemies. Only enemy you see is me right now, stupid. What are you thought? Oh, oh, oh. Like I said, hey, you. Fuck you, I man. Damn right. Just because I, I, I kind of want to make it a long part, just because I want to be able to beat the game sooner and not have like 2,000 pop. Wow. Okay. That's fun. Let's go, guys. Let's do this. Oh, so we like that now, huh? Oh, I'm lagging. Oh, I'm lagging. Yo, y'all see this bold ass man right here? Huh, Kai his ass real quick. Yo, 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 hold up. Somebody, somebody get this man out of my face right now before I slap him silly. It's all about W's over here. Let's go champ, right? Can I get a hell yeah? Go, go, go! Can I get a hell 
in the comments. Oh, it, it seemed that they got there. Oh, I like this though. It's giving us more of a challenge instead of me one shotting them, huh? Baby girl, you good? Yo, yo, who is this? Who is this? Who's man? Yo, they really bold. They will like run up to your face and be like, yeah, what's good, homie? Oh, no, let me get my block real quick. Please don't run in front of me like that, right? Alright, hold on. This fool off. I ain't talking to you right now. Alright, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Cause I know damn right he ain't just ran right past me. Like I ain't like I ain't Shepherd. Like, come on now, hold up. Hold up. Sit down, stupid. Woo! And that's how you do it, team. That's how you do it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go legendary pack. That's literally legendary pack. Right, let me open this door. Oh snap, more dead bodies, yo, I'm not like this. Who is killing everybody? Oh, if I see a pathway, let me look over here. All right, nothing, all right. Yo, who's killing everybody? Yo, who's that? Back. I've got no grief with you. All I yo, want I'm is this familiar. Please, he's a madman. Mr. Toombs, you're insane, you need help. It's Corporal, Corporal Toombs. <laughs> you don't get to lie, not today. Today it all comes out. Don't get me wrong, I like the voice acting more more on this game than Man of Medan. At least these guys are actual actors other than Man of Medan. They sound like they crazy, but you know, let me put some respect on their names, because they actual voice actors and not. What all comes out? I'm listening, but I need you to put that gun down. You don't understand. I don't want to kill anyone. I I want to go to sleep without screaming in my dreams. I want the people who sent me to Akuz brought to justice. Justice? This Can't you justice. see the tombs is crazy? Shoot him! I ain't shooting nobody, what? But if I can't get you that, just need help. I'll have to settle for killing the men who took my life away. What did the doctor do to you, Corporal? We were on Akuz. When the Thresher Moss hit, <laughs> my entire unit was wiped out. The Thresher Maws. The scientists were studying them. They let them hit our unit just to watch. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted. Well, I would have slapped that gun out of his hand the minute that he looked away from me. What kind of tests are we talking about? You can't believe Tubes. He doesn't have any proof. I demand a fair trial. Ever had Thresher Maw acid in your veins? I have. They wanted to see what it they're part of some organization, Cerberus, that runs secret tests like this. They treated me like a lab animal. This is justice. Word? This man deserves to die. So, are you going to kill me or not? You're better than this, Toons. You're not like them. Don't tell me who I am. You got away with a few scratches and a scary reputation. The rest of the unit died, and I was tortured for years, Shepard. You can't judge me. You don't have the right. Tombs, if I could have helped you on a coups, I would have. All I can do is help now. Let me. Okay. I'm no murderer. Good. They couldn't make me one. Just as long as he goes to trial. Maybe the screaming will stop now. I don't know. It's over. You did a good job. Those bastards can't hurt you anymore. Joker, tell the 5th Fleet we need a ship for pickup. Aye, aye, Commander. Well, we saved the life, guys. We saved the life. I'm gonna check this out real quick. I'm gonna look through it, and if there's anything important, then... Uh, it was pretty much nothing. <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Well, look at this cool-ass monitor right here. Look at this before, before I end this. Look at that. Doesn't that look pretty cool? That's hot. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe and all that stuff. Follow my Instagram, follow my Twitter. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next Monday on the next Mass Effect part. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this part because it's getting interesting like i always say but trust me it is all right uh -huh. peace out yo cue to my outro <laughs>